My mum and dad actually met at Wimbledon. I'm in the like early 70s. It's something that's been very much part of our family life through going there, you know, all the way through the years. I've been involved in it all my life because my dad used to do it. I think that's what it's all about, really. It's our local track. I mean, we're born and bred Londoners, and it is a really important to London. It's really important to the people that use it. It's always nice to win or do well at your local. But yeah, no, they're good memories. No, good memories. Shame to see it go. I've been involved in stock car racing in one form or another all my life. My dad and my granddad um, started racing in the late 60s, early 70s, and uh, in and around the London tracks. But basically, Superstocks are my formula, um, which is the one that you know we've been involved with all their lives, and this the one that my dad was predominantly involved in. So um, it's just something that we enjoy and that we love as a family unit. In 97, I raced a banger for the London Youth Championship at Wimbledon. And the reason I was putting a banger was because I was driving like an idiot on the road. Because when I'm 17, I know everything about driving until you get out of the track. And yeah, I was useless. <laughs> I knew nothing. And basically, the old man taught me. That taught me a lot of everything. Now he's getting on a bit. I've taken over. And as we've seen an example earlier, which was quite funny. I was going to fabricate an idea, and he just went, well, just bolt something together and it'll work. Oh, yeah, right. Don't know everything, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> London has, has really restricted in its like um, industrial use these days. So we actually club together and we uh, rent the arch. We, you know, some people go clubbing, some people go holiday. We rent the arch as part of our fun and enjoyment and the stock car racing that we do. It's our hobby and it's our way of life. Okay, put it right here. There we go. <laughs> I've been doing it a few years through my dad and stuff, and um, yeah, it's just escalated from there really. It's in the blood, isn't it? I suppose, I think. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's good fun. Hurts, but good fun. Is that why you're taking such care with the padding? Yeah, yeah. And he's a tart. <laughs> and I'm a tart, apparently. <laughs> Paul really helps us, he maxed Dad. He helped us out a great deal, like letting us do the cars here on, like, on for a weekend. Yeah, big thanks to him. Without him, we'd have nowhere to do it, really. Stock cars I started, um, well, it was hot rods I started with, and um, bought a mini to start with, raced at Wimbledon. But yeah, very exciting, but then, Give up in the end, had a few accidents, um, couldn't keep up with the big boys, didn't want to spend too much money. Then Matthew started a little while ago, like I say, I know Jimmy before that. Up, it won't never end, it won't never end, especially when you've got families involved in that. You've got to feel connected with the car. If you're not connected with the car, you won't go well. It's as simple as that. Matthew's doing really well at the minute, so hopefully tomorrow will be his day. You never know.
I mean, I've been going to Wimbledon for a lot of years. I first went there when I was about four years old. I mean, London's massively important as an iconic cultural centre. Stock car racing provides part of that makeup. support for the racing and it does deserve a few here in London.
obviously it's sad, but it's gone out in the best way possible, hasn't it? So overall, I think it's been blinding. And I hate the fence. <laughs> Which is what it's all about. <laughs> Thank you. 